Now that we've created a heat map, we've gotten a lot more information about the migration patterns and it's very easy to see. However, we might think about other visualizations that can help us identify additional information from the migration pattern data that we have. One such one might be an easy visualization to help policymakers or other interpreters of the data quickly identify which states are the ones that we lose the most people to and which states we gain them the most from. And we could do that by hovering around our heat map or we could select a different visualization type such as a bar graph from the show me menu. Before we do that, however, we might want to keep our heat map because it would be very useful to have for a dashboard or a storyboard that we're going to do a little bit later. So let's not get rid of it. Let's first rename this to heat map five year average exemptions. And then let's copy that. We're going to copy it by left clicking on the sheet and then we're going to select copy and then we can go ahead and left click again and select paste. It always puts the pasted version ahead of the other version that you did. If you want to reorder it you can just click on it and drag it to a new location. Here we can also rename this so we can say our chart five year have exemptions. And now that we have it renamed, we can go ahead and alter it without affecting our original heat map. So if we click on show me, then we can select the bar chart and we automatically start to see who we are, which states Hawaii gains people from and which states they lose people to. Now this isn't in any semblance of order, however. So if we wanna order this, what we can do is we can click on this but we can hover down over our five year average net number of exemptions and then click on the automatic sort function. And now this chart makes it very easy for us to identify which five states we gain the most people from. And if we scroll down, which five states we lose the most people to. Perhaps during the presentation, let me click off of this show me to minimize that. The policymaker says to you, okay, that's great, but where are we gaining the most money from and where are we losing the most money to? Well, fortunately, because we had put both labels into our heat map, we also have the five-year average net AGI available to us. And we can simply click hover over the label to identify the automatic sort. And then we can click on the automatic sort button there to see which five states we lose the most money to and which five states we gain the most money from. Now, sometimes they're the same states and sometimes they're not the same state. Now that you've learned how to do a bar chart, you could repeat both the heat map and the bar chart for the other measures of interest, including AGI, number of returns, so on and so forth.